It's your girl Apple. And Zania. And we're here today with our February favorites. Ooh. We both have what? Mm. One, two, three. Well, combined it's supposed to be four because yeah. we're doing the four like beauty categories. We're gonna do makeup, we're gonna do skincare, hair, and then body. But each of us has like one, one. category with two things that kind of yeah. work together so they coincide with each other. Depending. And we had the same lip product, <laughs> yeah, like we I had the same mine. makeup product, but she couldn't find her. I can't find mine. I gotta search for it because, like, that's like Bay. She has it on right now. Yes, it's definitely Bay. <laughs> and then I have <laughs> on the one that I'm gonna show you guys, which is from Elf. Actually, it's not too expensive. I'm sleeping on Elf, man. Yes, a lot of people sleep on Elf. Like, I feel Elf like why y'all? They be sleeping on Elf. I don't get it. All right, so, so we're, we're gonna, gonna start. You we're gonna stop rambling and get right into the video. Yeah, my lip item is the taraji p henson viva glam by mac this is the box and her signature is just so pretty on the box and then this is the tube it's a really pretty red tube and it says viva glam taraji p henson on the bottom and then this is the color bomb and i have it on my lips right now and I bought it, what, like a week ago? Like, I've mm -hmm. seen people reviewing it and stuff when it first came out. When, like, Salon first came out, they would send it. You know, Max sends it to big YouTubers. And I thought the colors was pretty, but I was like, okay, I'm too dark. It's not going to look nice on me. But then I bought it. I didn't even I try it. Her. She convinced me. I, I convinced bought it, and I fell in love. Like <laughs> The thing is, with this lipstick, I feel like we're going to have to go and buy another one before they take it out of the stores. Because it yeah. is only going to be it's in limited stores edition. until about... I'm going to say April because it's been out for about... I'm making a mall trip tomorrow because I need another one. <laughs> and I want to get the gloss. Yeah, we're, we're going to get the gloss. So, and mine is from e.l.f. And surprisingly, I love e.l.f. actually. It's, I do too. It's really it's inexpensive. Like, very inexpensive. And so, the one that I have is called the Day to Night Lipstick Duo. So, it's a double. It's called red hot reds <laughs> reds are in for darker skin tones like yeah, i don't care I if you are complex like my complexion because she's a little darker than me a little lighter than me my foundation makes me a little lighter but she's lighter than me and then it's me and then like a darker tone like i've seen a girl mm -hmm. the other day real deep chocolate pretty skin and she had this bomb red lipstick on i don't know what it was called but it was bomb i think it was from mac possibly it probably was ruby Wood. probably you was ruby Wood. <laughs> that's another one of our was. favorites but it's not yes. in this video so it's a day and night lipstick. This right here is the day color. If you guys can see that. I actually have them both colors combined. When you make your own lip combos. <laughs> yeah. And this is the night color. The night color is actually my favorite because I've always been a person for darker reds. <laughs> it's three bucks. Three or no, this one was six dollars. An individual one is Y'all know how much it's not those because I ain't gonna tell you. Yeah. And then <laughs> It says, this dual-ended lipstick conveniently has a beautiful soft shade for day and a bolder shade for night, which is actually true. And it's a satin finish. So, I love mattes. Like, I'm mattes yeah, are my go-to. Matte is life. That, like, it's <laughs> my go-to. And then, for this, I have to give it a thumbs up because it's fucking awesome. Moving on to skincare, I have a duo here, which is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Facial Mask with... I don't know how to say. I'm gonna butcher, butcher, butcher. I'm gonna <laughs> butcher that tamarind extract and tea tree oil. I believe tamarind. That. Oh, that. <laughs> and then I also have the African Black Soap Problem Skin Facial Wash and Scrub, and I use them together because clearly black soap. I have really bad acne. Like not really, really bad, but I have acne prone skin, so I try to go for more so like any facial anything with like charcoal or black soap in it because it's really good with drawing out the blackheads and just keeping your skin looking good. So I bought the scrub first just to try. Like I've seen it, I was like, "Oh, what's this?" I like trying stuff. I'm weird. Don't judge me, but I like to try stuff. So I tried it, and then um, I seen this in Walmart, and I picked it up and was like. Maybe if I use them together, and then using them together, it really helped with, like, the bottom here of my face, because I get really bad acne there, and they smell amazing, amazing. and then, like, amazing. the, this is the mask, I think it's so pretty, and then the scrub is, like, white with little black charcoal, uh, African black soap beads in it, and it's really good, and I'm running out, so I gotta get it. Mine is from Lush, everybody knows Lush, like, you Lush guys is life, too. Lush, so this is actually a face and body cleanser 
you have to turn it into a paste. Like like a thick paste. A because thick when I, paste. I have one too, but not this one. But I had the Dark Angels one and I did it wrong and it was like watery. And it looked, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't working. This one is called Let the Good Times Roll. To me, it smells like oatmeal, but it has pump, uh, Excuse me, I was about to say pumpkin. It has popcorn in it, which Wait, is kind of weird, but it works. It works. It makes your skin really smooth. Like smell I it. It smells, it smells like, like oatmeal. It's, it's it smells like butter to me. Like probably the possibly, popcorn. It yeah. smells like butter. Yeah, but it's like fucking awesome. This bottle runs you about twenty two, twenty three dollars. Can't remember. I think it was, yeah, like, 20 was like twenty. Yeah, but it's a, you get a decent size yes. for that amount, and even then though because, the bottle looks small, it's like caked up in there to yeah. the top. And to then the the because brand. you have to make it into a paste, it kind of lasts longer because they tell you to take like a pea size, but we all know a pea size is like this big. So me, exactly. I take like a quarter or a dime size amount <laughs> and make it real like thick and pasty mm-hmm. in my hand, and then it could kind of like go for a mask for a while too before you like. Rub it all the way in and then rinse it off. Like before we did the video, I actually washed my face with it and it feels so smooth. Like yeah. so smooth. Like I really love it. I washed my face with something. Went on to hair care because we're both naturalists, by the way. Yes. Even though you know I got the braids in and she got the curly look, we I've both been natural. natural for I believe four years now. And I'm going on five. And I actually cut my hair really, really short at one point in time. And it's it growing back. I'm it, it's grown back a lot since I cut it, though. I'm so scared. That's a plus. That pop was so ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> the hair care product I have is the Garnier Fruities Damage Eraser Strength Rest- Reconstructing Butter. And it says that I believe it's like a rinse out. Yeah, it is a rinse out, but I, I leave it in sometimes because... Listen... It leaves your hair so silky. Like, you ever use, like... I use that as a deep conditioner, too. But you ever use, like, a conditioner or, like, a product that made your hair just feel so silky yeah. after you washed it mm-hmm. out? That's how this... And I live for their <laughs> curl line. Like, yes, I live I for the I curl nourish. It. it is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no other way to say that. It is amazing. But this smells really good. It smells okay. like, um... Like, it kind of oh, reminds yeah. me of, like, like, a, a hair oil. of a hair oil and a perfume and this together. This is what it looks like. It's, like, really yellowish, pasty. It's not too thick of a paste either, so, like, it doesn't leave a nasty residue on your hair if you was to leave it in. Because sometimes when I do a wash and go, I would put it in and leave it in and then wash it out the next day. Because I'm weird and I don't like to follow instructions. My product, it's a set, of course. It's shampoo and conditioner. It's OGX. I'm sure people know what this is. If like you don't, you if you going. don't you need to like start up on it i'm not big on shampoo all the time because my hair is natural but i do shampoo when i need to and like, theirs is sulfate free yeah a lot of people didn't know that yeah and um so it, this one is the weightless hydration coconut water oh, that is they life. have a million like a million literally we started off with the argon oil yeah <laughs> we started off with their argon oil it's a blue bottle like if you want to try it and you a first timer uh, go for the argon oil the coconut this milk coconut one milk, the, co- the coconut milk one is good but this coconut water right here smells I'm like, like obsessed this is my go to right now especially when I'm just doing a co-wash like if I just want to co-wash I pull this out if I'm actually washing my hair I'll do this and I have a deep conditioner sometimes I use my sister sometimes I use my own depending but the joys of being it out. related. Exactly. And being natural. <laughs> and using we, the same we products. We love a lot of the same items. Yeah. We are two different people, two different personalities, but we click like this, okay? Yeah, you would have thought like, <laughs> we came out the, the womb same, together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But oh, it's awesome. Go for it. The last thing for me is skincare. And I have really sensitive skin. But we are product junkies. Big time. Okay. We're we kind of sh- ashamed of it. Just a little bit. Just a little oh. bit. <laughs> We try a lot, but I mean, now that we're getting into YouTube, we kind of have to be product junkies because, you know, we're going to try different things and kind of review them for you guys. But the last thing I have is the Dove Sensitive Skin Nourishing Body Wash, and it says softer, smoother skin after one shower. And because I'm such a product junkie, I got the big one with the pump. And I got this from Walmart. I believe it was like $4. I think it's like $4.97. Yeah, so... I love it. Um, I've actually tried them all, and Dove is about the only body wash that I can use, like or like soap that I can use that's not uh, heavily scented that doesn't irritate my skin. Mine's is actually 
two items. <laughs> you guys don't laugh because it's not as funny as she thinks it is, okay? Well, I use Dove also, but I also use the Olay Sensitive Skin. You see this big ass bottle? We had to do Team the big sensitive size. skin. Yeah. We and this one says Olay Sensitive Unscented Moisturizer uh, Moisturizer Outlast. Excuse me. <laughs> Penetrates surface skin layer by layer. So I decided to try this. I always use the Dove. I decided to try this like not even two months ago. And the only reason why I did it is because it was like a Christmas present. I'm obsessed. Like I'm trying to get her to try it so she can try it because because it's sensitive skin, it shouldn't be as harsh as other items that we use. Like we both have this thing for Bath and Body Works, but we can't use the shower gel. No. Like if I love it. I'm buying it. I love one that one. Back. But I love this. <laughs> and then my second item is Toothpaste. Brush that tongue. <laughs> brush your, your teeth. teeth. Brush your tongue. <laughs> brush it. Oh, it's actually Tom's. And Are it's, they good? Yes. It's fucking awesome, yo. It's clinically proven natural. Like, it's nothing in this shit. Is it minty? Yes. It's called Clean Mint. The one that I use. It's simply white. <laughs> Clean Mint. You heard mm -hmm. a mint names they be coming up with for toothpaste. <laughs> it's radiant whitening, mint. cavity protection, no artificial dyes or sweeteners. Clean Mint. I'm going to try that, too. And it's ADA accepted, so that's a, that's even better. I can't be the only one who's has brushed my tongue and gagged off of the taste of the, te the toothpaste. Yeah. This, I have yet, since I've started using it, I have yet to gag. Oh, that's good. So, I really, really, really like this. I'll give this a thumbs up also. You guys should go and try it. It's kind of expensive, but toothpaste is expensive nowadays anyway. Beauty products <laughs> is expensive, period. Like so, you guys, that was our February faves. That's about it. We'll be back with a March phase. Well, yeah. like, we're kind of in the process of trying to find March, March faves, faves because a lot of stuff that we are using now is like, mm -hmm. mm, I like it. I don't love it. <laughs> like, we want to bring you guys things that we love and, you know, things that we can give honest and positive reviews about, which I feel like said, like monthly favorites are really good. And I'm, I'm yeah. so glad that all YouTubers are doing, like, all beauty YouTubers are doing it because it just gives our viewers a view of like what we like and you know you never know we may have viewers that have sensitive skin just mm -hmm. like us or we may have uh viewers that have acne from skin just like me and the things that i'm using could possibly work for you we're not saying everything that we use is going to work for everybody because what works for us may not work for you for like you, what works exactly. for me may not work for her but hey why not share what we love with the people we love mm -hmm. <laughs> we are like very big on self-image for African-American women. No, when we don't believe in going outside to look good for anybody else, else, we but would us. rather look good for ourselves. And trust me, I have my days where I don't be caring what I look like. I walk outside looking like anybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's true, though. Like, we don't go outside to please anybody else but ourselves. So, you guys, we'll be back with another video, of course. And you can Give let us know. Give this a thumbs up. In the comments. In the comments if you want to see. Anyway, or what you might want to see. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Our February faves... We did. We enjoyed making this video, this and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Loopers or not? Right. All right. All right. All right. Ready? All right. One, two, two three. three.